Although 95% of the land in Texas is privately owned, there are over one million acres that hunters can access by purchasing an annual public hunting permit. This is a program by which the department goes out and leases private lands for public hunting. We pay the landowners a lease fee, and then they allow the folks that do purchase an annual public hunting permit to come out on the property and hunt a variety of game animals. The annual public hunting permit costs $48 and can be purchased when you buy your hunting license at a retailer or online at the Texas Parks and Wildlife website. Well, once you've bought an annual public hunting permit, you will receive a map booklet showing you all the locations that you are eligible to hunt with an APH. If you buy your APH at a regional law enforcement office through the game wardens, they may have books in stock for you to take with them. Uh, likewise, if you go to headquarters. But most licensed locations are not gonna have these books in stock. They're gonna be mailed to you about two weeks after you buy your permit. So that's a good reason to go ahead and get your permit early. That way you're not waiting on that booklet to get there in order to see where you can hunt. Annual public hunting permits go on sale August 15th. The maps of leases are also available then for viewing online. Most of the private land leases are for hunting morning and white winged dove, along with other small game. Some wildlife management areas, state parks, and long-term leases are also included in the program. The map for each site will have additional location-specific notices and rules that are unique to that hunt area, as well as a text box that delineates what species can be hunted. At some locations, APH permit holders can also hunt big game, such as deer and feral hogs. It just depends on the location. This program is walk-in, do-it-yourself hunting. The annual public hunting permit gives legal access. The rest is up to the hunter. Well, the trick on any of the public hunting areas is you either need to get there earlier than everybody else or you need to walk farther than everybody else. You know, unfortunately, that's the name of the game when you have something open to the public, first come, first serve, as many of our public hunting areas are. Uh, it really pays to scout and to have some locations picked out that you feel be good to sit in but have some backups too. So you want to be polite. You don't want to crowd somebody. In a dove hunting situation, I probably want to be at least 100 and 150 yards from somebody else sitting out there. Remember, access to many of these properties are purchased from private landowners. And as a good steward of the natural resources of Texas, it's important to leave the area better than you found it. For more information, Go to the annual hunting permit page on the Texas Parks and Wildlife website.